and then I got to the middle of the house where there really shouldn't be any water. And I was like, why is there water here? And I started sponging it up and then realized, oh, this stinks. It's not water. Hey all, and welcome back to another Millie's Remodel update. Today, I'm taking you along with me to go shopping for countertops. In my last Millie's Remodel update, I got the cabinets installed just in time for my countertop fabricators to create the templates. I can't wait to show you all the slabs, but before we go shopping, I have a quick little project to install a coat rack area behind this pantry cabinet. So I wanna go ahead and put planks here um, and coat hooks, but then I also wanna put, I guess, maybe just a shelf up here on top of the door just so they have a little somewhere to put extra stuff. Um, so this is the back door, which, you know, the homers will probably come in here or they can come in the front door. It's kind of their choice. But I think if you're bringing in groceries and stuff, most of the time they'll come in the back door. I'll be installing planks on this wall, but to avoid the wall color peeking through the gaps in the planks, I'm painting the wall a dark teal, which will be the same color as the planks. For planks, I buy Luan in 4x8 sheets and ask the home improvement store employees to rip them down to 6 inches. The Luan is thin, but gives a beautiful shiplap appearance when attached to the walls, like here in my kitchen, or around the fireplace area at the Saving Out of Project. After figuring out the spacing, we measure and cut the planks, then attach them to the wall with finished nails. I like using pennies to add a small gap between the planks. Next, the nail holes are filled in with wood putty. The planks are in and I just put a little bit of uh, patch plus putty in there to fill the nail holes and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. As you can see, some of the sides of the planks are showing up light. It's okay because I can touch them up with a small paintbrush and paint. All right, so you saw the process. Um, we put in this plank wall and it's actually gonna be an area for coats. I'm gonna put some coat hooks here. The planks that I use, they're super thin. They're just Luan. So I need to put another board to actually hang the hooks on just for more stability. I have to laugh because I just explained to my assistant, Brett, how old growth lumber has tight grains and is much harder to drill into. I think he just experienced that. The coat rack is all done and ready to be loaded up. This is the perfect spot for my renters to hang their coats, bags, and maybe a dog leash. Hey, I'm not opposed to renting to dog owners. I'm back looking for countertops and I want to show you guys this really cool slab. I, I can't go with it, but it's really cool. Check that out. How cool is that? It's called Roma Imperial from Brazil. It's quartzite. These aren't bad looking either. I kind of like these guys, but it's not going to work for what I'm using. Okay, time for you guys to help us out because we're looking at this one slab and I absolutely love it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it when it's cut up. We have like a six foot and an eight foot section to cover. All right, this is the slab. It is granite. It's called winter wood. I absolutely love it. And the thing I'm liking about it is that this is my backsplash tile. These are the cabinets. They're gray, but they're very warm gray. And so some of this has some very warm gray tones in it. And then this is the flooring. We're leaning away from the winter wood. Winter wood, I think it is. Just because, um, I don't know, I love it. I love it, but I worry that it's not as safe um, for potential resale in the future. So let me show you what we're down, narrowing it down to. This is gonna be hard to see because it's super reflective because this is more of a polished, but it's a really pretty black with some very minimal white veining. This one is called Via Lactea. And, hi, see, you're so reflective. Um, that shows it probably the best. It's very dark. That's floors, counters, and then that's the backsplash tile. I'm back from countertop shopping and I discovered some water in the crawl space, so I'm going to go ahead and investigate. 
I was in the crawl space cleaning up some pools of water that were from the um, painter when he power washed. Let's see, I don't have any vents near me, but he, he kind of power washed in the vents and sent some water in there. So I was just sponging it up and then I got to the middle of the house where there really shouldn't be any water. And I was like, why is there water here? And I started sponging it up and then realized, oh, this stinks. It's not water. So here's the scoop, literally. <laughs> My plumber put in the toilet and the sink in the powder room, which has been fantastic because we finally have running water and a toilet in the house, but it's all been dumping into the crawl space. Now I'm sitting here wondering, is the brown stain on my pants just dirt or something else? All right, we had a big rain last night, so I wanted to come underneath in the crawl space and just make sure that everything was dry, make sure we don't have any um, water that is seeping under here and everything looks great. Yay! All right guys, so I need to pick a remnant because I kind of want something different for the vanity in the bathroom at Millie's Remodel. So I'm at KJ Natural Stones, which is who I use for all my um, countertop needs and they have like tons and tons of remnants. So I might need your help on this. This is a reminder of what the finishes will look like in the main bathroom. I'll need to keep this in mind while picking out the countertop material. All right, so this is the first one I'm looking at. I really love the recycled glass. Um, it has kind of that, the amber glass in it, but also has the blue and the green. I'm not really sure that I want those colors. So that's my first option. I don't know if you can see this one, but this one is so fun. Like all these big bubble looking things and it might be too crazy. I just stumbled upon this one. It's a very, very dark and it has some pretty veining and I think it might be more of a, like a honed finish. I'm liking that too. I know this is hard to see, but this is another option. This is kind of like what I was looking at, um, which is, it's like a leathered finish. Uh, it's mostly black. Here, it's probably a better look. Part of me wants to go with something really kind of cool like this with the browns, but I don't know if that's too much. After searching through tons of remnants, I've narrowed my choice down to this dark recycled glass and this Negresco honed granite. Which would you choose? Installation day has arrived, and as you can probably tell, I chose the Via Lactea for the kitchen counters, and I couldn't be more thrilled with how pretty they are. In the main bathroom, I chose the honed Negresco to let the floors be the star of the show. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.